Hey, how you doing? So today I want to talk about something that uh, I'm pretty excited about because it went really, really well and I didn't think it was actually going to go as well as it did, but it did and now I am really excited. So as you all may or may not be aware, we've been working on attack helicopters and all sorts of other stuff for an upcoming version, an upcoming update for our game, Operation Harsh Doorstop. We recently did an incredibly chaotic playtest where every single player in the server could spawn in an attack helicopter, and we ran this test on a full 64 player server. And while I kind of expected things to melt if we let people do that, guess what? It didn't, and it actually went really, really well, which now has me incredibly excited. Look at this, this is crazy. Dude, I can't believe this is our game for real. Dude, look at this. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but that 30 second shot just absolutely rocks my mind. Now, of course, if you weren't already aware, Operation Harsh Doorstop is for free on Steam. Link's down in the description. It's a game our community's been making. But the reason we've been making this is because we really wanted to have a game that does the things that nobody else really has the balls to do anymore. And I don't just mean like, oh, you know, cool new weapons and like, oh, you know, like big maps. Obviously, we want to do those. But one of the biggest things about Operation Harsh Doorstop is that it is an offline game. So you can play it in single player. But it's also an online game where you can host your own servers. And all of the things that you used to be able to do with every game, which now for some reason you can't do with like any game anymore everything is online only nothing supports mod support anymore everything's packed with microtransactions like it's it's gotten so bad that in my opinion it's not just creating a bad experience for players you know like players want offline support players want mods but it's also making a bad experience for content creators like all of these streamers you can't you can't really do anything you can't host custom servers and create custom experiences. I mean, for the vast majority of these games, you can't even turn off the heads up display if you want to. You can't control anything. So how are you supposed to make interesting content if your content looks the exact same as everything else? Operation Harsh Doorstop is supposed to be the solution to that, or at least my solution to that. There are other games that are kind of doing similar things to what we're doing, but unfortunately, the vast majority of games that are even close to what we're making are all getting bought out by big investors, and then all of those big investors force those games to take out the mod support and the offline modes anyways and put in microtransactions, so they're basically, they basically just become the same thing as everything else, which is why, I mean, this game is my last bastion of safety where I can finally have the game that I want. No, the game that I need in order to do my job and my community can finally have a game that they're used to where you know you can finally host your own servers. And it's free. It costs nothing. So that way everybody can play instead of having to constantly buy sequels that are essentially the same exact thing over and over again. It's ridiculous. Now, when I started this project, it was essentially a fever dream. I don't even think I myself thought that I would get as far as we've gotten. I mean, everybody was like, no, that's impossible. Are you going to try to make your own Battlefield game? There's no way you could do that without hundreds of millions of dollars and a huge team and a huge publisher that forces you to put in microtransactions. But... The more I looked at not just where the industry was at at the time, but where the industry was going, the more I started to convince myself, no, no, I, I think this is going to be possible. It's going to take many years. It's going to be very difficult. It's going to be painful. But 
as long as we stick to the vision and we continue working after four or five years, which it's been that long now, we could actually make a game that is free, that is at least pretty close to Battlefield. And once the game is pretty close to Battlefield and it's free and there's a full modding SDK where the community can help out, then at that point, it might actually become better than Battlefield. You look at the stalker community, you look at all of the modifications that have come about stalker and the community that has been creating content for stalker there are so many modifications for stalker that exponentially surpass the stalker game not just the stalker game but i would say other triple a games out there that are trying to make insane amounts of money there are still stalker mods that are better than triple a think about how insane that is my hope when i started this project was that if we could make a standalone free game where we put out the development tools for the community to help out and and make whatever they wanted with it that if we could get the game even close to what battlefield could do if the community has the development tools to help out once we get it close to battlefield we could work with the community just like they did with Stalker and get it to a point where it surpasses Battlefield in the long run. And after the playtest we had the other day, I feel like we're getting really close to that point. Not surpassing everything, but we are getting it dangerously close to other big hitting triple A games that have been on the market. But again, the difference here is not only have we given the development tools publicly to the community so they can do whatever they want. Not only have we made it so you can play the game offline, so you don't need an internet connection sitting there constantly watching you to make sure that, I don't know, you didn't pirate the game. Not only have we made it so you can host your own servers. So that way, if you want to have like custom experiences, role play, private co-op, whatever, you can do that yourself instead of having to deal with just like a obnoxious and unreliable matchmaking service to this point so far we've made a game that not only does all those things but it also costs nothing it costs nothing it is a free game you can go and donate on steam if you want but that's it you don't even have to do that which makes you wonder why are all of these other studios charging so much money for something that a YouTuber and his ragtag community just made for free. Because, I mean, hey, don't get me wrong. Battlefield, they still got a bunch of things on us. They've got lots of features that we don't have yet that we're still working on adding to the game. And when we do, I guess that will change the conversation. But the crazy thing is, is even in our current state of development, there are already loads of games that actually have way less features than we do that are trying to charge an arm and a leg for people to play, which I kind of thought was crazy when I was younger. And when I said these things in public, people would make fun of me and sometimes even get mad. But now that I'm older and I founded a studio that actually made a game that was very similar to the games that when I was younger, I was questioning, you know, like, why are these games so expensive? I feel like my opinions on that have just gotten more reinforced. I think a lot of people thought I would have this experience where I would try to make a game and then I would be like, oh man, you guys are right. There do need to be all of these microtransactions and you can have mod support and yeah, you're going to have to make all your games online only. But now that I've actually been through it and I'm still going through it, we're still making the game, I've just kind of doubled down on that perspective, especially since... You know, I have proof. I have proof now. And I'm like, yeah, why were you guys cutting out mod support? Why are you guys making your games online only? Why are you guys pumping microtransactions into this game that I know didn't cost as much to make or shouldn't have cost as much to make as you want everybody to think that they cost to make? Games are not as expensive to make as a lot of these industry executives are trying to tell you that they cost to make. They really aren't. Don't get me wrong. They cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. I can attest to that. I have had to really pour a lot 
of not just my own personal effort, but a lot of my personal finances into making this game be made. But you see, the irony is, is $100,000 or hundreds of thousands of dollars is a lot of money to us. But the people that have been putting these games on Steam, that are trying to spin this narrative that they don't have enough money, they're not making hundreds of thousands of dollars. They are making hundreds of millions of dollars. Hundreds of millions. And I think the scale here gets kind of warped because it's hard for people to imagine how much money that actually is. But let me tell you, they're making way more money, like in gross excess, way more money than they need to make the kinds of games that they have been advertising to you. I can assure you. And now that investors and all of these industry executives have started to see the gaming industry as something that they can milk for more money, trust me when I say that that over-exaggeration of how much money they need in order to accomplish like relatively simple tasks in game development has just ballooned to just insane proportions. It is reaching a level of absurdity that frankly is becoming difficult to comprehend. I don't know how many of you guys watch the TV show Arrested Development, but there's that one scene where one of the main characters, she's like, a banana, how much could that cost? $10? And everybody laughs because like, oh, that's a lot of money for a banana. It's like that, except they're not asking why a banana costs $10. They're like, why does this banana cost $2,000 or $100,000. Like, seriously, their idea of how much money is required to do things that should be relatively simple is, it just feels like an insurance scam. I swear to God, sometimes when I watch these studios operate, I just feel like I'm watching an insurance scam in motion. It's absurd. So, anyways... Giant rant aside, which I I am happy that I'm getting this off my chest because this is absolutely something that I want to talk about with you all and I want to continue talking about with you all because we're not done, right? Like we're still making this game. This game is a political statement about the industry. That's really what this is. This is like, this game is like my avant-garde art piece in a hipster art gallery that depicts the greed and insatiability of the corporate industry. But instead of making an art piece, we just made a literal game that proves how greedy and how insatiable the industry has become. And I mean, again, we're getting to that point where with some of these playtests, you can see what we're doing, you can see how much progress it's making. And I think you guys can also see how much further we could go with this. We really can. Similar to games like Stalker, similar to games like the original Battlefront, just like those communities took those projects and made it into something almost bigger than it originally was, we're hoping to do the same thing here. Where we put out a game, it's free, all of the development tools are publicly available, and our team is going to continue developing the base game in addition to our community working with us to just make the best possible experience that we can make. And it's not about the money. It's not about anything other than making a sick, good game that everybody can play. And that's why it's free. And that's why it's always going to be free. All right, guys, that's it from me. I want to go ahead. I'm just going to play you this raw playtest footage so you can see for yourself what's been going on. I had a blast. You'll see in the footage. I'm just sitting there smiling nonstop. I can't even stop myself from being happy. That is that's the happiest I've been in a while playing that playtest. And hopefully, if you guys want to be a part of this journey, go download the game on Steam, obviously, but also join our Discord, engage in the community, download the development tools, try your hand at making something in Unreal, make a helicopter or a gun or I don't know anything, and you can come and be a part of this mission to make the ultimate first person shooter that everybody can just have and enjoy. So, all right. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy this footage and hopefully there will be much more to come in the future.
look at this. This is crazy. Dude, I can't believe this is our game for real. Dude, look at this. Alright, first things first, we have to capture the waterfront. So we've got infantry on there now. Yeah, just just kill just kill anything in the waterfront. Those are friendly. Actually, wait, no it's not. That's a that's a hostile vehicle, I think. Kill that thing. Yeah. Nice, nice. Good kill. If there's infantry down there, whack them. This is amazing. Oh, oh, oh. I just got hit. Hull's damaged. All right. Let's let's see if we can head back. We're going to repair. Actually, I might swap out for a tank. Just because I want to try, like, all of the different vehicles. Because we are kind of stress testing everything. We'll head back to the FOB. We'll land at the FOB. Guys, I'm so excited. Things have been going so well lately. Here we go. I don't know. I, I think there's I think there's an enemy up on the... There must be like a tank or a machine gunner that's like trying to uh, spawn kill. Alright, let's see if there is an LAV. I really want an LAV, but I might just have to settle for a striker. Let's just take the striker. There goes my, there goes my Apache. This is this is fantastic, man. When I first when I first started this project, I I gotta be honest. I thought I I don't want to say I never thought we would get this far. Oh hey, here's an LAV. I want an LAV. But like seeing this right here, right now, like dude, this looks like battlefield. There we go. Nice. Let's see if we can... I want to see if we can hit 1,000 players again today. Is that friendly? Friendly. Alright, so we got to hit this next objective. Oh, that's not friendly. Is that, is that an enemy or friendly? That must okay, that's friendly. Beauty is here! Oh, oh god! Shit. What was that? What was that? Oh, did a helicopter just crash on us? Hostile? Yeah. Alright, we're just gonna keep pushing on the attack objective. Where is the attack objective? Everything is 
so chaotic right now. I'm having trouble even... I'm having trouble keeping track of who is who. Alright, hold up. Let's, let's go this way. Here we go. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Somebody just put a freaking mine on me! Yo, enter me. Enter me. I will save you. Oh, oh my what god, the fuck? Enemy, is that an enemy BTR? Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this is insane. This is insane. This is crazy. Alright, Bob's up. Alright, attack the next objective. Let's go! There it is. There it is. 150, up or well not yet rallies up from attack helicopters. Do we have it? Do we have anti-air? If we have anti-air, we have an enemy helicopter 195. Those are, those are all enemy helicopters. Do we have anti-air? Yeah. Right uh, 123 123 right there. Take that one out. Oh, we're dead. Oh, you hit it. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Die, bitch. One second. Oh, oh. Did he go down? Did he go down? Did he go down? He went down! The helicopter went down! Let's go finish him off! There he is! He landed! He's starting back up! Take him out! Kill him! Kill him! Nice! Make sure the pilot's dead. Oh, now he is. Oh, that was sick. That was a cool moment. Friendly, we're friendly, we're friendly. That was sick. Did you just see that? That was, that was a moment. That was a moment for sure. That was a battlefield moment for sure. All right, next objective. Let's go. Had a helicopter coming at it. Shot it once. It it crashed. Kill, killed all my guys with a rocket run. It crash lands, and then we run up and shoot the pilot. That's so sick, dude. I can't believe that just happened. Alright, let's get on this next objective. Look, if you guys like what we're doing, if you guys appreciate what we're doing, dude, share this stream. Get more people into the game. Spread the word. Help us out. Go buy one of our partner games on, on Steam. Let's go, guys. Let's let's finish this up, right? Let's get this out. We've got probably... We probably have, like, one year left. I'm serious. I feel like at this rate, we have one year left, and we will have every single feature that Squad has, and then we're going to start having more than they have. That's how this is going to go. 
in in one year we will probably be at a point where we have every single feature that squad has and we're going to begin the process of actually having more than them and we're free and we're free they've probably made they have probably made 50 million dollars plus we we have maybe made a couple hundred grand think about that think about that like get into your calculator and like do the math on how much like 50 million dollars is and then do the math on like how much a couple hundred grand is and like look at how much we've made here and look at how much they've made and and ask yourself if the discrepancy there makes any sense at all at all all right let's go almost there Hey, smashing the like button, button helps, for sure. Let's go. Alright, let's cap this up. Rally point down. Let's get anti-air up. I want anti-air up. Hey, can I get ammo? Does anybody have ammo? Is anybody an ammo man? If you have ammo, put it down. Your rifleman. Yeah, get those get those those strikers up. We're stingers, not strikers. Oh, contact! Oh, I think that's friendly actually. Wait, no, it's not. Oh yeah, okay, uh that that contact 15 uh, contact 15, uh that that's a hostile. Aircraft 15 is hostile. Get it? Yo. What? Blue. Yeah. Oh, are you in the uh, BTR? You wanna get a half down? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah you wanna get a half? We yeah, got yeah, two yeah. friendly BTRs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, it's down. Beep, beep. Okay, good. Yeah, done. Let me, let me back up. Alright, next. Hey, hey! Uh, uh, Yoshi, Yoshi. Yoshi, Yoshi. Can we get a ride? Can we get a ride? All right, everybody in this BTR. Yeah. Let's get it. Let's get it right. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, there you go. I got you. I got you, buddy. That just gets, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, everybody in. Let's go. Me. Everybody right, in. Let's in. go. All right, we're gonna go. Okay, we're gonna go there. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, Next whoa, objective. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's rock. Why are we stuck? Ooh, ooh, lag spike. Oh, we got lag we're spike. We're full. We're full. All right, let's rock and roll. Oh, for me, maybe. Yeah. That attack helicopter to the left is hostile. Oh, taking a hit. To the left? Oh, shit. That KA-52 behind us is hostile. It's not showing up on the map. It's hostile. Get ready to dismount, guys. Or we're going to be KA-52 food. You know. We're KA-52 food. We are very much KA-52 food. But that doesn't matter, because we can just spawn here. All right, spawn on the vehicle. Spawn on the other BTR. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I'm friendly, you bitch. All right, fobs up. All right, capping. Capping. Yo, this is sick. And I'm dead. Some, somebody's bad around here. Last objective. There was a dude right there. 
83 got canceled. I, I'm pretty yeah. 83 got canceled, and I I haven't seen anything from it since. Let me spawn, damn it! <laughs> Did they just? Did they just have a wreck? Oh, here we go. I'm just gonna take this. All right, guys. Vehicles up. Let's assault this position. I don't know why that guy's. Oh. Bye bye. All right, here we go. Let's assault this position. All right, all my squads spawn on the uh, spawn on my vehicle, which is south of the attack flag. South of the attack flag. Dismount, dismount, dismount. Let's get into this attack objective. I am the APC south of the attack flag. Let, yeah, 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 there we go. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go! Yeah, can I get an attack helicopter? North, hey, north. I, I need a, I need a, 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 an Apache strike. If anybody's in an Apache, I need a, a, a Hydra run on the attack flag, please. Thank you. Yes, 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 yes. Alright, let's get in here. Infantry, move, 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 move! Where? East? Oh, shit! I can't see it! Is that Hassan? Yeah. Alright, it's down, left, down. Yeah! That's so sick. Dude, what? That was an amazing moment, too. So many sick moments today. For real. This is crazy. 